Today's little exercise in the shed is an attempt to make a centre punch. I'm thinking I can make it out of this stainless steel rod and an old drill. I'm not sure whether the drill steel will be strong enough, but failure is always an option. This will be the hitting end of the centre punch, so I'm just rounding off the edges just so that it's not completely square. On this end, I'll drill a hole for the broken drill to go in. And I'll also put a taper on the end. Okay, let's just test that drill bit. Yep, it's got to be a nice tap-in fit. Now for a bit of knurling action. I reckon a knurl always makes the part look way more professional. This shed made knurling tool really works a treat, even on stainless steel. So long as I just gradually increase the pressure until I actually hear it cutting and then I can start moving it along.
Nothing to do now but give it a test. First on aluminium. Yep, that works no problem at all. But it's not much use having it just for aluminium. So let's try it on a bit of mild steel. Mmm, okay. Not quite so good. I think the drill bit's going to be a failure. Uh, yep, just after that, it's blunted it. Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Fortunately, I can remove it. Oh, I happen to have a broken end mill that I reckon might work. So I'll put that in and try it. It's not nearly as long, but I think it'll be alright for a trial. It's a high-speed steel end mill. Second lot of testing. Of course it works no problem in aluminium. But let's try the steel. And verdict is, yep, it's still got the same amount of point. So that's a winner. Well that was a useful little project. A longer end mill would have been good, but this one works. So I'll take the win. Thanks for watching.